Uh, welcome back everybody, Crow here. Uh, lack of videos last week due to being busy with work, and next week I'll be on vacation. But today I'm bringing you the Gundam Aerial. Uh, just one of my favorite builds lately. I just love the aesthetic design of the actual Gundam from the anime. Uh, Witcher Mercury was really good. So, decided to make my version of this. There are a couple of versions already out there, but this is my take on it. So we're going to get started with our laser rifle in the right hand. Uh, really, any choice would be good here. Not you, You're pretty well open in terms of what you can do for that. Uh, we went with the pulse blade for the left hand, although you could also get by with the laser blade just fine. Uh, and on the back, we're using dual laser drones. That way we can mimic the gun bits that get used. Uh, pretty self-explanatory for that. Uh, on to the head, we go with the pretty obvious Alba choice. Uh, gives us the most sort of Gundam-esque look for those types of Gundams, as well as the Alba core. It's a very sleek, um, almost tender frame for what you would use for the aerial Gundam. With the arms, we went with the VP46S. They give it sort of that rounded look that the aerial has. And we went with the Alba legs. So pretty much you get by with a mostly Alba build for this one. Uh, for the booster, I went with the PO6 SPD. We got a really high boost speed all around. For the um, FCS, you can really go with anything. I think I defaulted this because this was moving from a copy build, so we're going to go ahead and change that over to something that focuses a little bit better with the close and medium range with the PO5. And with the generator, Bob's your uncle on that one. I ended up going for the VP20C, helped me get everything under weight and load. And we went with Pulse Armor for the expansion, since we do get some added protection from those gun bits protecting her with a shield, so it just seemed to work out the best. As far as paint, uh, paint was very simple on this one, no real use of decals on any of this build. For the white that we use all around the board, here we go. Here's the red that we use, and that just gets repeated all across. We do use this green for the eyes and the lights on the Gundam. Uh, and here's the main blue that we use. With a slightly dark gray greenish color. And more of that red and white. And for the yellow that we do use on the chest, go ahead and use that one. The arms are more of the same, with a little bit of gray in between. And then the legs are just the white and the red. Uh, the arm units, I went with a darker gray on the main gun, uh, highlighted by a little bit of that blue and yellow. And then the rest are pretty much just the white, blue, and yellow. Very easy build to create, very easy build to color. Uh, I don't believe I used any decals. I did not, so no worries about having to place anything. You can obviously do some of that if you want to create any sort of decals for like maybe numbers or layers to give more of a military look. But all around, very easy build. If you just want to straight up copy it, uh, we'll get you guys the code for that right now. And we'll give this thing a test run in PvP. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, if you like any of this content and want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I have several more things I need to upload. I have a couple of weird cosplays like Hank Hill and Philip J. Fry. Then I've got some more Gundam style stuff like a goof. And some Transformers I need to go through as well. So thanks for watching and enjoy the battle. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program Number 9 Main system, activating combat mode.
target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done.